This is an omnidirectional mobile robot which has four mechanism wheels. Because of its capability to move in any direction, it is used in various applications such as nuclear power plant, then warehouses. Using free body diagram, we have derived the equation of motion, and this has been simulated in Simulink environment for any given input. Then for the practical validation, we have used the Arduino support package provided in the MATLAB and you can see whatever values are on the display that has been sent to the mobile robot using external mode. Now this is the comparison of the results obtained by the uh, experiments and by the simulation. On the right hand side you can see the simulator results which has been uh, created in the mechanics explorer that is the sim mechanics provided in the MATLAB and, uh, and on the left hand side you can see the experimental results. Now if the mobile robot has to track any desired complicated trajectory in presence of disturbance and non-linearities because the dynamic environment is always changing. So for that uh, we have built a robust and adaptive controller and the whole closed loop is implemented on the mobile robot using robotic system toolbox. To track the real time position of the mobile robot we have uh, used the image processing toolbox of MATLAB and on the display 2 you can see that uh, it is tracking various numbers of red color objects. For example, the simulation has been done to <coughs> capture these many red objects. Implementation, either you can use a ROS package to capture the uh, images of the red object or you can use the same uh, position feedback from camera as a Simulink model in a different MATLAB window and it will be publishing the message uh, to the topic that is location you have to mention the type of uh, message so here it is the message points that is x and y we are taking and then uh, before that writing uh, the model you should uh, start the uh, ROS that is ROS INT and that will be the images that the CG of the red object will be uh, published on this topic that is uh, that address uh, location topic then now they open the second uh, window so this is our whole model with the plant this is a plant then uh, with the robust controller uh, to counter the disturbances then we have our adaptive controller which will take care of the bounds of the uncertainties and these are input output and then further here we will uh, receive the real time position uh, of the CG of the red object and uh, based on that whatever control input is required to move in the per particular trajectory that will be published so now once you run the simulation we will see that uh, whatever CG from the camera is obtained that is uh, getting received by the subscriber and this is the trajectory 8 we are trying the trajectory 8 So here is the received messages from the camera which is running on the other window and if you want to check the values in the terminal so you can simply write ROS topic equal location so this is the real time uh, data of the camera and this is uh, then uh, we have an example of 8 trajectory so on the top you can see that is tracked by the camera and this is uh, the the real time implementation and then we have also tried uh, one more complicated trajectory so this again uh, on the top right you can see that the trajectory which is tracked by the camera and we have covered uh, this uh, robot top surface with the red color so that can track only the red color and it is tracking the uh, CG of the rectangle found by the uh, red surface so these are few cue points about the real time limitation and uh, webinars which you can follow uh, regarding the ROS and Arduino support package. 
and if you really like my work like my video uh, please do hit the like button because this is very much required for the competition this time thank you very much